Our next topic focuses on J.J. Schnizzle, a local teen who also, similar to Jonathan Sparrow, had a horrific encounter with the deadly cubivore. Yeah, you know, I'd like to keep it tripped out, you know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it down here, you know, there ain't nobody else down here. I come down here and do my little, uh, my little DVR, because that's where I kick, you know, kick the booty at. So, yeah, I like it down here, okay? Hmm. All right. So, uh, what exactly happened to you? Well, it was about three years ago, okay? I'm down here doing my DDR like I always do, right? I just knock at door. I'm like, yo! Yo, who be that? So I was like, okay, I'll go over there. I'll flip that the other way, and I go over there, right? <laughs> I answer that door all the time. I'm like, okay, so I get up. I go answer the door, and there's this backpack sitting at the bottom of my stairs. I'm right? like, what is this? And after that, I just... I don't know, man. Came out of nowhere, okay? I didn't see it coming. <laughs> On the condition that we listened to his 30 minute rap, which was god awful, JJ Schnizzle agreed to participate in a reenactment of his life shattering event. And after that, man, that's, that's all I remember. Alright, well, wrapping up a long day. Haven't really seen any cubivores. It's been a very disappointing day. Well, all I can hope for is better luck next time. Can it be stopped? Uh, we actually, we have no idea how to stop this epidemic. It's the most tragic thing that's happened in years. So we have no way to stop this cube. <laughs>